and welcome to Family by Nature. We have our dear Sam from Ghana Bound, Team Alpha, with us today. And Sam and the family have been in Ghana since January 2021. So we are planning to do the same. And when you are planning to move, you have lots of questions. Sometimes you wish you have someone that you can ask. <laughs> and if you want to have the results, if you envision some results that you have to have, you have to go to the people who are already having those results that you want to have. And some and the family, they moved and they've settled. So we have some questions. So I have some questions. I'm going to ask some how they deal how they um, dealt with those stuff and we are going to start. So Sam, hey. now we are in the preparations. Um, I mean, we what we've done now, so we the first one is, the, let's talk about shipping. Right. So the we had this, the idea of, okay, should we use a door-to-door -door company or should we um, get a container? And I've not had any container. I've not done that before. And the good thing with door-to-door -door -door is it goes straight to your door. You don't have the hassle of going through the ports yourself. And yeah. yes. So how did you do it? Wow. This has got to be the most asked question. And um, <laughs> I'm going to try and help. It's, um, it's so personal to each other, to each mm -hmm. person. But... Um, for us and how we got around it, we really looked at everything we have. You're going to hear stories of people that even packed black bin bags to go to Ghana. <laughs> okay. They packed everything to go. And it's really oh, not necessary. Oil. Cooking oil. oil. Cooking oil, toilet roll, everything. They packed <laughs> everything. Everything that you can readily find in Ghana. Okay. You can find it. Now, what I would say, especially for our American brothers and sisters, um, I've been watching a few other channels and they seem to always be going on about grits and grits and grits. We don't have grits in Ghana. We have not seen grits. We don't have it in the UK, although I'm sure you could get it. But that I say that to say this, that if you have things that you really, your little home comforts, by all means, pack them. Yeah, by all means, pack them. But if it's, you know, bin bags, toilet roll, everything is available in Ghana. Everything is available in Ghana. If you particularly have a certain style of something that you really like, ship it. If something that you wanted, ship it. Um, when it comes to shipping, I don't know any of the costs from America to the UK, but one thing is common, anything that's shipped into Ghana, you will pay duty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you will pay a duty and you will pay um, custom and excise. There's, there's two things. You will pay a duty and then you will pay another tax on, on top of it. So if you are shipping, you really have to either go in. It would be sensible to go in with someone else that's also shipping to mm -hmm. definitely pack that container because it's not cheap. What you will experience is when that container gets to the other side, you or you will have to get an agent and every single one of your belongings will be decanted at the side of the harbour and a tally being made of how much you owe. You will, it will be prudent that you know what the, um, your leeway is. So if there are nine of you going, you can literally take nine TVs. If there's only two of you and you're taking nine TVs, Two aren't charged, the rest will be will incur a charge. Okay. All right. Fridges, unless it's brand new, you can't take a fridge to that. They are on the ban list. So you've got to do a little a, a, a thorough research into what you're your, what you're bringing, what charge it has, mm -hmm. and um, whether you want it to take it or not, that's up to you. If you're taking things like fridges again, um, be sure you're buying the right thing because you're now buying a product from, let's say, the UK and taking it to a sub-Saharan product. Now, even if it looks the same on the outside, on the inside, they're very different. Mm. Okay, so um, I, I keep using this example of a fridge because we just got one and I researched it. So, 
Yeah, so yeah, the insulation, yeah. the insulation on the fridge will be a lot thicker. The compressor will be a lot tougher because it's working harder. All right. If you take the UK one and take it over there, you'll find it will be prone to um, to breaking down because the compressor is a bit lighter weight mm -hmm. and the insulation is a bit thinner, so it's all working a bit harder. Mm -hmm. So make sure you're buying the right sub subtropical. Make sure you're buying the right one for the right market. Mm. And you can get them. It just takes a little bit more work. Mm. Um, and you will pay. Do you know what I mean? There is always duty to pay on everything. So that's the shipping side. If you are doing door to door, um, they seem to have their relationship with the, um, with the harbors and everything sorted. And they literally pick it up, drop it to your door. And that's the end of it. You're not going to... You know, you're going to pay the shippers per item or however they charge you, but it's a lot simpler. And we simply didn't have enough to do a shipping container. We just didn't, so we didn't go for it. Mm. Um, we, we filtered and filtered and filtered and filtered <laughs> our stuff out, and we still had over 50 boxes to go there. Wow. Yeah. Mm. Some of it is still in the boxes. <laughs> <laughs> Think about another year to unbox all of them. Oh, yeah. Some of the stuff is still in the boxes. Some of it I really shouldn't have taken, didn't need to. Mm -hmm. um, things like tools. If, if it's going to be a box on its own, take it. If the tools are broken or in any way, this, you know, bits missing, don't take them. Put them on Facebook, sell them. Right? You can buy it over there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, if you really want to double check, check the price of the thing, get your cousin to go and check you to test mm -hmm. the price of a step ladder or whatever it is that you think you might need a drill. Everything is available there. However, caveat to that with furniture, um, unless you're buying the local artisan's furniture and there's really a lot of beautiful styles and stuff there, that stuff is generally very strong. But if you're buying modern type of things, you know, like the MDF, furniture, you know, the Ikea type of things and all of that lot. Although they seem to look the same, the quality is different. I have to say that. Mm -hmm. So you can see something that looks like the same bed that you've seen in Ikea. But once you go to it and look at it, you'll see the quality is, it's um, different. is different and the price is more expensive. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I think... Um... That's very good in terms of course here you have two main things, the stuff to bring when mm. you are coming. I think that's that's um that's a very good one. So because sometimes you think like, okay, can I get this one in Ghana or should I bring it? Some people say, okay, buy the all the electronic stuff here and bring them over. But when yeah, I saw yeah. the video that you did with your fridge, like you mm. bought a fridge in Ghana and the pricing, the price was almost the same. Tell me, tell me yes. about that. Yeah, the price was almost the same. Um, we were unlucky, not totally unlucky, but we were unlucky in that we, they were still waiting for the model to come in and the fluctuation of the city brought it up a few, a few pounds. But um, it was still very comparable and cheaper than a lot of places in the UK for that mm. same food. Yeah. The same, yeah. The same brand. Yeah, yeah. Mm. same brand, same model number, same everything, apart from it was um a sub-saharan grade mm -hmm. it was it was made for those temperature ah, fluctuations yeah. yeah one funny thing that i would say is if you're building especially although there are sockets and stuff available in ghana plenty of them plenty plenty um from so far this is just so far i would bring fittings wire um myself so i would bring you know like usb leads and stuff like that if you've got if you're a dude with loads of loads of um techie stuff mm -hmm. bring your for some reason the wires seem to be better quality over here i know it's random but we're, we're guys we like our tech i'm not mm -hmm. saying women don't like their tech please don't kill me on the comments okay <laughs> <laughs> but um little things like that bring them bring the wire bring the tech mm -hmm. yeah um, also, there are other incidentals that you won't see coming. So there will be like step downs and um, voltage regulators. 
-hmm. So on that fridge, we bought the fridge, but a lot of appliances get killed over here because when that doom saw happens, when they're out the, the electricity, mm -hmm. um, there can be voltage drops, there can be power surges that kill your equipment. Mm. And you're not gonna, you're not going to get any kind of recompense from anybody. That's just how it is. Your your fridge dies. It so dies. It's it's dead, it's dead. Go and fix it. Shall you go and fix it? So it's better that you <laughs> you you buy the, the regulator, the voltage, the step down, they call it, the correct one, and place that in front. It's like a a, a, a barrier between your important tech. Mm -hmm and voltage surges and stuff like that. Mm. That was new to me. I, I didn't see that one coming. I did inquire oh. as, as for a step down for the whole house. That would mean we can just plug in as, as normal. But when I saw the size of the thing, I said, okay, you need a plant room. So mm -hmm. I, I'm not going there. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. So in terms of things to buy, if you really like something and if you will, you know, whatever country you are, you were going to buy that particular marble table. Just be happy and bring it. Pay the cost and bring it. You know, you've got the quality. That's what you wanted. Be happy with it. Mm -hmm. the, the cost at that point is irrelevant. It's because yeah. you want a, you, that's, that's your style. That's what you mm -hmm. wanted. Feel free. You're building your new life. Yeah. No one can tell you the right or the wrong. Mm -hmm. um, and if you... Just think that you're paying for everything that you send. So is it really, uh, the hardest things were emotional decisions. Yes, 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 yes. Do you know what I mean? Oh, this is his first scooter or he would, I'd love my children. To get rid of it. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> the first baby caught. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And I, I would say, if you're going to go through the hassle of all of that, take new stuff. Just mm -hmm. take new stuff. Yeah. 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 Don't, mm -hmm. don't ship old half things with bits broken or, mm -hmm. you know, just take new stuff. You can find cutlery in Ghana. You can, you can find everything here. Everything. Everything. You can find everything. It's the quality that's questionable. Yeah. And then you have to start making your own decisions there. I can't sit here and tell you the definitive list of what should and shouldn't go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true. It's true. It's true. <laughs> Let me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you've got, um, like, get the right wiring. If you're doing a building project, you can get it here. There is a bit of, I don't know how big the problem is, but there is a lot of, fake wiring you know that, mm. that is in the system um again i don't know how big or small the situation is um i'm about to go into that situation stay tuned to the channel mm -hmm. because if necessary there's things i won't play games with but mm -hmm. i'm sure it will be it will boil down to where you go and get the things from mm -hmm. for it to be official wiring that is yeah. safe because um I'm so happy I bought extension leads. You know, mm -hmm. the, those blocks, you know, yeah. the blocks. Mm -hmm. Because the ones over here uh, that I've encountered, again, this is what I've encountered. It's not the norm, maybe, I don't know. But they're Chinese um, strip plugs and I've heard fizzling, cracking, poppings. You can see burn marks on it from short circuiting. So I, I bought a lot of them. I'm that mm -hmm. techie kind of guy and I've thrown out all the Chinese stuff and bought the MK stuff that I brought with me. I had a whole box of that type of stuff. I just know where I stand in it. You know? Yeah, I think I'm, I'm yeah. I'll, 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 I'll do that because I've got, I mean, tons of, um, I mean, external hard drives and all this kind of yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just like you said, um, just like I said earlier, I've got a NAS, uh, you know, a hard drive that's outside that needs to be, it's protected. Mm -hmm. yeah, nothing can happen to it. Um, if I have, when I go next time, I'll get the battery back up so this doesn't go off quick. If you're a techie guy, bring all the safeguards with you. You can get them here. They, it's not that you can't get them here, you can get them. Mm. And all the step downs that I'm talking about, I've got them here and they're good. Yeah, good, good, good. Yeah, that was so that, yeah, the next question is the, um, and I think that we were thinking of buying is a gener generator, you know. Kachin, so sorry guys, if you hey. hear, if you hear this sound, it's, it's I, when 
<laughs> I think all of our subs, they need to take a shot every time they hear the kachin. <laughs> it will reconfirm what they need to be focusing on. You know? Take a shot. <laughs> every time our brother Douglas makes a sale, take a shot. <laughs> you know what? 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 what, what, what when it, it went off, and the the video was rendering, we were having a break. It was mm -hmm. <laughs> going up. Oh, it was going ching 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 ching. <laughs> and these are these are sales sales from the US because yeah. it's now like uh, maybe like ten or yeah, around that time in the US. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, lot, yeah. I think we have a lot of the same type of followers. I, we have a lot of people following us from the States. Yeah. And the products that I'm looking at, um, making and selling and developing is pretty much pointed at the diaspora mm. and our American brothers and sisters. There's a massive market. Um, so, yeah, I'm even now looking into timetabling our posts or at least a good a variety of our posts for them that's that's um easily accessible for those guys so they can get it and enjoy that's 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 awesome yeah. that's awesome yes yeah, so in terms of generator we were thinking of yeah. buying uh, uh getting a generator and um because i mean working online you i mean we need that mm -hmm. um, pass constant almost power i mean you can deal with some days when it's off but mm -hmm. if for example we have Q4 coming. Q4 is, I mean, the for e-commerce. I mean, the last mm -hmm. quarter of the year is, is where the money is. That's, I mean, if you've never made a sale online, Q4 is where you make Q4. Yeah. Q4 yeah. is where you have um, um, Thanksgiving, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Christmas. All these kind of things are in Q4. So now you need to. If you are working online, like e like e-commerce, you need to start like positioning yourself. Don't wait for Q4. So now, yeah. for example, I'm, I'm designing yeah, yeah. a lot of products here because I know we'll be moving, and we won't be having some time in between. I'm doing a lot, a lot now in preparation of Q4. So mm -hmm. uh, that's where you put up Christmas, you know, from October, put up Christmas designs and Christmas products. So that's why we're thinking of getting a generator so that I mean we won't miss any thing. So in case of generator, um, would you recommend getting that, getting that in Ghana or here, bring buying and bringing it here okay. um, to Ghana? Because the, somebody told me that they, you have to pay duty on that one as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. You need to pay duties, and again, it's based on the size. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so sticking to generators. Um, there's every single type of generator here in Ghana, every single one. Mm -hmm. And the thing about generators, uh, it's not just that one looks big, let me buy it. You need to talk with your, with your electrician, <laughs> your yeah. good electrician, to find out what it is you exactly need. Mm -hmm. You might get a, a 60 kVA and only need uh, 20. Mm -hmm. the, the margins are too big, You're, it's not efficient. So you need to get just above what it is you need. Mm -hmm. and, and then also with that is if you're looking at a generator and the outlay of a generator, you can get them very cheap. They're older ones, but they're less efficient. Mm. You can pay, spend a lot more money on the newer ones. They're very silent, very efficient. Mm. Or you can decide, we have plenty of sun. What can I get out of solar power? Either way, if you're building, you need to sort these things out way before the electrician is needed to actually start throwing wires mm. because he will be able to tell you, okay, you've got four aircon units. Mm -hmm. You have, you want water heater. Do you want this? How do you have a microwave? And then he will calculate and then give you that margin for what the solar can do or what your, um, what type of generate you need, what size. Yeah. So it needs to be planned way, in, way in, um, in, in advance, right down to where the sockets are going to go. I mean, you have to be ready for this, mm -hmm. for this electrical component of it, mm -hmm. um, especially when it comes to solar, because there's, again, different versions of it. So you can have it just to run your TV and your fridge mm -hmm. when the light goes off, or you can, if you've got enough space, keep everything running. I don't want it to touch me. Mm -hmm. I don't want those sort of touch me. Mm -hmm. So it's not it. I would buy it in Ghana. 
um, if you get a fantastic deal, mm -hmm. um, it doesn't necessarily, you're going to get less duty because, you know, there's cars over here in the UK, I've switched mm -hmm. the cars, that we'd pay £500 for, £600 for. Mm -hmm. but when you take that same car, <laughs> take it to Ghana, the duty and everything else, hey, there's nobody that is buying that same car for that price. Yeah. <laughs> it, jump, it jumps from 900 pounds to four and a half thousand pounds. It's like, it, it, it can happen. Wow. So with generate, generators, talk to your, your electrician, um, yeah. electrician mm -hmm. and then if you still think that you've done your calculations and it's still cheaper from Facebook, eBay, whatever access mm -hmm. that you have in the UK, go for it. Yeah. It's just a maps. With me, I always boil everything down to straight numbers. Yeah. Straight numbers, then convenience. But that's there's more good. than enough generators here. We will be buying from Ghana, if that answers your question. That's good. That's good. That's good to, good, good to know. Good to know. Oh.